professional racquetball tour. Bullet serve from Mari Cruz Ortiz. This is the final of the 21 and under. Ortiz from Costa Rica against Katz from Argentina. And a TJ Bomba, a quick start for Ortiz, who has really demonstrated power and precision this weekend. Boy, she's given uh, some of our top players a run for their money. In the pros, she played Maria Jose Vargas in a, and really put a, a tough match up there for Vargas. And then taking out Valeria Santeas in the semis of the 21 and under. Valeria, a top player. I mean, Valeria won the, um, the 21 and under in, in Arizona. So really improved her game since the last time I saw her play. Uh, Martina Katz, an up-and-coming junior as well, talented young player. That is a booming serve. Yeah. It, it, Katz has had no, F, no chance so far. And what you'll see is Ortiz will now slide one in down the right once in a while just to keep Katz honest. Should be a screen serve. So second serve for Cruz Ortiz. And what we're going to see is Ortiz just try to overpower her opponent, right? Use that power, use that speed, and just blast cats off the court and so far it's working well well she i mean what i've noticed she's an aggressive shot taker she'll shoot from anywhere and she's got a lot of power from anywhere on the court tough z serve for martina cats winner of this takes home a thousand dollars yeah it's part of our junior development uh for the lprt Big shout out to Stuart Solomon and Tony Prater for sponsoring this division here this weekend. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, no. What a nice get by Martina Katz. Good effort from Ortiz. Katz needs to get some points on the board here. An, even an off-speed shot from Ortiz. Nice control. Yeah, she, she has a nice off-speed on that backhand side in particular. And uh, right now is playing within her comfort zone. Right? Seems very confident, very relaxed. Ortiz was the semifinalist at the Junior World Championships in December. She didn't win because she lost to Angelica Barrios. Oh, well. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Barrios in the final after this match of the pro division. You can understand maybe why. Yeah, so how about that for a junior final? Sheesh. And we hear the wows behind us from fans watching on who've never seen Ortiz play. Right. Well, it's been a while since I've seen her play. It's been, uh, a, you know, she hasn't played much on tour yet. She did play in Vero Beach um, about a year ago, almost a year ago. And in the year's time, I mean, just the work she's putting in is, is impressive. Pretty sure that was wide open. Looks like the referee was gave a generous replay there. Ortiz living in Florida with the Munchik family, training with them. Has a lot of fans in Florida now. Yeah, I, I understand why. You know, and Martina Katz, I mean, young player, same thing with her. She hasn't had a lot of opportunities on tour yet, but she has 
uh, come up through the juniors, is training with t Team Argentina. So I would expect her to keep getting better and better as well. Big skip on that right side mm -hmm. for Mortiz. Kat serving now. Katz is actually a medical student in, in uh, that's what she's studying in university right now. Nice forehand shot from Katz to get on the board. One serving seven avoided the dreaded donut. It always helps when you get that first point, doesn't it? Okay, I got one. Right. No zero for me. Let's work on that. Especially so when your opponent comes on out that hot and yeah. just runs off seven points. That's unbelievable, really. Take another look at this. Backhand, it, the ball came off maybe, maybe a foot off that back wall, and it just shows you the amount of power that Ortiz can generate, turning those hips, long arms. And a nice touch in the front left corner. Timeout on the court. We're going to take a timeout ourselves. It's game one of this 21 and under final. Ortiz going for the jam serve. That was quite high. Well done, Katz. Anytime you get Ortiz into a second serve, I think that's a win. Yeah, she does have a really nice first serve. Still kind of, I feel like I'm still learning about Martina Katz here. I haven't seen her play a lot yet. She's talented enough to join Team Ar Argentina here, which says a lot. Well, that was a big skip, though. She want that one back. Taking that ball very high. Could have maybe taken another half step forward to let that drop. There's a big difference, TJ, between being successful as a junior and Cats has been reasonably successful as a junior, not junior world champion like Ortiz or some of the other players on tour. Hmm, call was good, it looks short, but 10 serving one. But there's a big jump from juniors to pro. Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly. And I, I think some of the young players, even collegiate to pros, Opened to pros, it's a big jump, and I think it's a little shocking for some of the players who first step on to the mm -hmm. tour. Uh, and I say that for any sport. We okay. got a replay. Cats does get the replay there. I mean, that's a big jump. Any sport going from amateurs to a professional, I, that's uh, just a whole nother level. 
and at the moment just blowing cats off the court with this drive serve, particularly to the left side. And I think that's what Katz has to do, change the pace. Okay, if you're just going to hit power, I can't compete with that power myself, so I have to change the way I play or play a different style that might work. Right. I th yes, I agree with that. Mm. I feel what uh, one of the things I noticed Vargas had success with was really moving uh, Ortiz around the court, not letting her get that big setup because right. she is such a good shooter. Keeping her deep, making her move to both corners and then forward to the front, front of the court. There's the feet set, and there's the ripping forehand down the line from Ortiz. Ortiz hasn't played very much on the Pro Tour, but that doesn't mean she hasn't played in a lot of tournaments. While she's been living in the U.S., the last couple of years or so, she's played in a lot of tournaments in the Southeast. But she also comes from a... A fairly good pedigree in, in Costa Rica. The club where she plays has a lot of talented players. Generates basically Team Costa Rica to a large extent. And uh, she's grown up playing quality players. And you can see it. Blasting serves left and right. Claiming the first. 15-1. So, timeout on the court. We have two minutes. Cats. Game one. Game one. Sorry. Game one. Time out on the court. We have two minutes. Katz has a lot of work to do to get back in this match. You know, we exist. You know, racquetball is, is an amazing sport. Uh, it helps you, obviously, physically and mentally, but it helps you in life in general. And definitely say that you should all go play.
And we're back in, everybody. Tim Baggers, TJ Bomba, Jay Josie at the controls for you this late morning here in Boston, Massachusetts. Just outside, to be technical. Beautiful day. We had some snow for uh, about a day and a half, and it's all clear. Nice, crisp morning. Beautiful snow. Everything's co covered, white, snow covered. Uh, we're here at the Frontline Boston Open, presented by ARC Behavioral Help. Thank you to all the sponsors that made this event possible. This is our juniors, 21 and under LPRT division. $1,000 first place prize on the line. And 500 for second, so yeah. that's a big differential. Yes. There's a lot on the line for these two. Yeah, a big thank you to Stuart Solomon and Tony Prater for sponsoring the junior event this time. It's great these players get some experience on tour, and they also earn some money playing in the juniors division, which helps them travel to uh, the pro event. Crushing forehand pinch winner again from Ortiz. Ortiz has all the weapons. She does. She I mean, does. to me, she is playing pro level yeah. ball. Oh, yeah. Regular on tour, and she would cause some upsets. I, I just think that more time on tour, I was talking about that with like an Erica Minia who's jumped in the ranking mm -hmm. so quickly um, and just has a little refining to do. Just more time on tour will just make her better and better. Same with M Mary Cruz Ortiz here. I, I think she will just, she will explode the more time she plays. Three serving zero. Uh, yeah, we got the score backwards. I had another forehand splat winner. And this is the key for Ortiz when she doesn't hit the unforced errors, the big skips. A lot like Minia. If you don't hit those unforced errors, you are very, very hard to beat because you can hit the ball very clean and hard. Yeah, Katz is having trouble finding out really what to do with, uh, well, like serves like that. <laughs> wow, that was just an excellent lob serve. Yeah, but really the power and, and shot selection from, from Ortiz. Nicely done. Yeah, it's a good pace. Uh, good mix. I, I've she's got a lot of tools. This has to be a, a a gut check for somebody like Katz of, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm just getting blasted off the court here. I thought I was good. Right, it, it, right. You have to remember as a player in that situation, you have time to work on something. You have an opportunity to get better. And we've seen this with some of our juniors who have come on tour and have been getting uh, struggling to, to get wins, to get points. Over the course of two, three years, they start to see that differential change. Right. The question is, does that, those players that come in and take a beating like this, does it motivate them? Exactly, or does yes. it? Or does it cause them to go, ah, why do I bother? Right. And the ones who it motivates will will make the difference, put the time in, and and improve. And you can see Cat's frustrated, but if you know Cat's uh, speaks English very very well, she she will go home and go to work. She's that kind of person. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, just a little shell shocked by the power of the Costa Rican. So we just had a racket change there for Ortiz. Players have something like strings break or something like that. They have 30 seconds to just come out, change the racket, go back in. 
It's not charged as a timeout. Yeah, it was two bounces. Short serve, but man, had that just been over the line, what a good serve that would have been. It's a good shot. Katz is uh, an emotional player, always has been as a junior. I, I had the fortune of watching her and Mari Cruz for that matter play as juniors at, at the World Championships. This has to be put away. And it That's, is. Yeah. Well done. So if you're coaching Martina Katz, what are you what are you telling her to do right now to get back in this game? No, you, you can't worry about the shot-making ability of Ortiz. If she hits a clean winner, she hits a clean winner. But can you put her in the most difficult position to hit that clean winner? Like here, I like that serve. Nicely done. <laughs> and I also think you have to show that you want to fight. And I, I like the volume here. Yeah, you're down, you're, you're down big. You lost the first game big. But, but show you care about this match right now. Oh, that's also smart. Yeah, I pretty like shot. That. <laughs> I, like it. I, I, I like that too. Martina Katz down, you know, 15-1 in the first game. She's down now, but she's fist pumping. I like it. 3-7. Another nice yeah. forehand pinch winner. Ortiz is probably going to want to put the ball over to the right side. Backhand is significantly weaker than the forehand for Katz. We're not seeing those ripping winners on the backhand side like we are on the forehand. There's a point in case. All right, so Katz mm -hmm. needs to learn from this. I need better weapons on the backhand side because everybody's going to go to it. And that's a little bit sloppy. A little bit casual with this backhand. We saw that yesterday, a, a push, a backhand push into that front left corner. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In that case, it didn't. Again. I'm back in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Katz, is, Katz isn't a bad player. She just got blown off the court in game one. She took out Annie Robert, Roberts yesterday. Took her out in the Junior World Championships too. She's She knows how to play. She's figuring some things out here. She's right. not that she's sticking with some lob serves and Nick Lob, not giving Mary Cruz Ortiz uh, a chance to set up right away on that return. And I want Ortiz to step in and rip this. Don't let it come deep. Wow, that one was yeah. short though, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Katz like, knows it too. Yeah, I like the fight though. Mm -hmm. I like the, the grit in the fight. Mm -hmm. We getting a timeout? First one of the match. Timeout on the court. We're taking a timeout here. We'll be back in just one minute.
I like the timeout by Ortiz, just to reset. All right, good run, Cats. Good run, but let's just regroup, reset, and do what I was doing. Stop the momentum. Which I'm curious, at, at 51 in the first game, did we have a timeout from, from Martina Katz? Did she take a timeout? She took one. Did she did take yeah. one? Hi, that's wide open in my opinion. She's got to take that shot. Yeah, I agree. Wide open. I agree. So I think this is this the rule here from from the official. This is what I would do. Look, in theory, that that could be given to Ortiz because you should shoot that. Yes. This is your warning. We're gonna replay this. But next time, hit it. Take it. Yeah. Take the shot. Eight, six. Nice. Nice shot. She went for it. Well, did Ortiz get it? I want to oh, see I this again. I, I, was, I, I didn't think so. I thought Ortiz did. And I thought it was two bounces. I think she got it. It was a frame, but I think she got it. And if you're, if you're coaching Ortiz, and I'm not, Sudsy Munchik, I believe, mm -hmm. is. But if I'm coaching Ortiz, I'm going to be okay with some skips because that's how she plays, right? You can't change that that dynamic, aggressive nature. Right. If if there's if you keep them low, right? We don't want seven, eight skips in a game. Right. But if you can keep it two, three, four, Minimize. and you're you're rolling yeah. seven, eight, nine balls, I'm good with that. Rarely does somebody play a perfect match, but percentages, right? Smart play by Martina. I feel like she's doing a good job of keeping Martina, uh, keeping uh, Mary Cruz Ortiz in the deep in the court, hitting those wide angles, keeping the ball close to the side walls so Ortiz can't unload on those shots. Good hands from Katz. What a difference here in game two. Sticking with that high Z lob serve. There's a difference in power, but look where the points are on the right side. And Ortiz, just put everything down the right side. You're going to get all kinds of setups. Yeah. Got a text from Munchik. Veronica and Sudzi both. Oh, work yeah, with that Cruz. doesn't surprise me one bit. Veronica, good, good player and good coach. I want to see Veronica on tour. Uh, yes. Come on, Vero. Uh, yes, come on, Veronica. Talented player. She can leave Sudsy at home with the kids, bring Mari Cruz, yep. doubles team. <laughs> You know, I think uh, cats could learn a lot by practicing with Vargas. I, I, w I would assume they do. I mean, I Team Arvin's Argentina. Well, Vargas lives uh, in, in Bolivia. Cats is in Buenos Aires. So, But uh, if you could do team trainings and things, yeah. I think cats could learn a lot. Excellent. Reverse pinch winner from cats, though, and it's 10 10. Cats hanging about, hitting some excellent shots. Sticking with that high Z lob. Cruz still not cutting it off. Yeah. And that may be, she may not be comfortable with. Oh, well, that's a nice back. Hit. Comfortable hitting a forehand splat, though. Take another look at this, everyone. Sorry, I said backhand. Forehand splat. 
10 serving 10. Very smart cross court winner. Again, forehand side. This is one of the challenges of playing a lefty. Me being a lefty, of course. <laughs> uh, a soft spot for those who are playing lefty, but you, you've got to change the way you traditionally play. That's a smart shot. Yeah, that was a nice rally. Catch, it was. Yeah. Very good rally. Some smart shots within that. Some opportunities not taken, but eventually Ortiz cross court winner. Yeah, uh, Kat's hoping for a short serve, but uh, referee calls good. I also thought that was an excellent drive serve from Cruz, from Ortiz. And again, perfect, yeah. perfect. Timeout on the court taken by Katz, two aces. What a difference a great serve makes. Mm. We're taking a timeout to Ortiz looking to close this out. Back in, everybody. Ortiz looking to close this out. Was way up in, well, not way up, but comfortably up in game two. But Katz just found her way back in. Okay. Uh, again, mm. I feel like she needs to swing. Yeah, I agree. This is the one where I say, this is the one where I say point for Ortiz. Yes, you I, had your I warning, agree. Point I agree. for Ortiz. That should be a screen. It is. Second serve for Ortiz. Ortiz has demonstrated some tremendous serving in this match. Three cross courts in a row for Katz. This will come off the back wall. Oh, no. Cats. Too much time. Oh. She waited, waited, waited. Just uh, didn't make that last did, adjustment to it, get in the it right spot. Didn't have, it didn't have to be perfect. It just had to be an accurate shot. It didn't have to roll out. Another bullet serve. That's so oh. smart. <laughs> Kept by Ortiz as you see it again here. <laughs> Very smart Katz play. was anticipating a little touch shot. Ran too far forward. Ortiz went past her for a match point number one. Mario Cruz Ortiz. Oh, 
TJ, the under 21s, we only had five in Arizona. We only had five here. Not as many as we'd want, but right. what we have had is a glimpse of the future of this of this tour. I agree. I mean, this division is still fairly new for us. The season was the first we, we've incorporated it. started at the U.S. Open, and, and we did the, this, the last two events, this one in Arizona, and, and we may add it again at maybe San Antonio. Um, give the opportunity. They have a lot of players in San Antonio. Goodness Gosh. gracious. Wow. So she there took it. it is. Ortiz was willing to say. Oh, gosh. Cats just need to keep going. <laughs> and there it is. Ortiz claims it. 15 1, 15 10. Well done to Mari Cruz Ortiz, who really put on a clinic, especially in the first game and a half. Credit Cats, though, who showed she can compete, uh, she can push Ortiz in game two, and it was at, at one point 10-10. Yes. So uh, well done to both of those players, of course. Uh, look forward to seeing more of them on tour along with the others in the juniors 21 and under division. We're moving on to the final now. We have Mejia against Barrios. It's an intriguing matchup. It's scheduled for about 20 minutes from now, so we're going to let players get onto the court, get warmed up, and then we'll be back for that action here in Boston. A future free from drugs and alcohol begins with a decision, a decision to raise your hand and ask for help. The Frontline Recovery Program at Art Behavioral Health specializes in treating substance use and associated mental health concerns for veterans and first responders. We provide an evidence-based, trauma-informed approach to treatment led by a team of veterans and clinical professionals with first responder experience. Your recovery begins here. Call us today. <laughs> 